Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I feel the need, the need for speed. Can you smell what the movie man is cooking? Yes, that's right. We're looking at Fast and Furious 6, folks. The sixth movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. And let me tell you, this is a like a rarity for a franchise to actually get better with age. And it's because it embraces the things that people really enjoyed about the franchise. And that is real cars doing real stunts and over-the-top stunts and action scenes as well as some fun fight scenes and just a good time at the theater which is exactly what Fast and Furious 6 is. We get the story of Toretto and his gang who have been enjoying their uh, spoils from uh, Fast and Furious 5, but Hobbs, played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is back, and he is asking Toretto and his gang to help take out this even this real evil group of car drivers who are stealing government uh, components for a weapon, all right? And they, you know, you say, well, what the hell does Toretto care about the law enforcement? Well, when there are pictures showing that Letty, Toretto's once true romance, is actually still alive, uh, or possibility alive, he, he can't help but get involved in this uh, plan to take down the main bad guy and also find out why Letty is mixed up with these real evil bad guys and what the hell is she doing above ground? Folks, <laughs> Fast and Furious 6 really is a lot, one of the best, if not the best, in the franchise, which is, t is tough to say and really odd to say about a sixth film, but it is. Because, to sum it up, the Fast and Furious movies uh, really are like a comic book film, okay? You're getting outrageous, over-the-top stunts with things that are barely believable with cars. But what helps sell the Fast and Furious franchise, even all the way along, is the fact you're using practical cars, especially in 4, 5, and 6. I mean, you're using CGI, sure, I'm sure there was CGI involved, but there are just so many practical stunts with real cars, both muscle cars and uh, foreign and domestic. I mean, just that fact alone adds the sense of just fun because it doesn't look, see, it's real, and that really helps grounded for lack of a better term okay and it makes you get more vested i think in the film than having some painted car on the screen now acting you know vin diesel and paul walker and everybody's got great chemistry you got tyrese gibson back you got soon kang gal gardo you know you got luke evans in here uh who plays the bad guy but Everybody's got some great screen chemistry, especially Toretto's group, because they've been doing these films for a while, and it shows. It really comes off. They feed off each other, and it comes across screen, and you really buy into that. They are a closed-knit group. Now, Shaw, Luke Evans, this evil guy, he's developed, sort of, but, you know, he doesn't have to be too developed. You just need to know he's a bad guy, and which is what they do. You don't need a whole lot of depth there, all right? And then we've got Gina Carano joining the franchise, uh, which was a nice... Uh, thing to see because she gets some great kick-ass fights with uh, Michelle Rodriguez's Letty and that was great to see her getting some more work and see her in action on screen. Maybe not the best actress but man can she deliver a punch and a kick and a few other moves that'll break men's bones. Uh, you know Fast and Furious 6 is, is a fun movie. You're not going for Schindler's List. You're not going for depth. You're going for some kick-ass action scenes that are a lot of fun. Some edge-of-your-seat excitement where you feel like you're in the driver's seat with Toretto driving fast down the highway with real cars and not painted ones that were created or rendered from a computer. Folks, I, I really loved this movie. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite in the franchise. And it's going to be a shame to see Justin Lin leave the franchise because he's actually developed it and made it better. He's taken all the elements that we loved from the first few films and packaged them up in a nightly, nicely uh, wrapped popcorn film for the summer that you look forward to, okay? I uh, Just go see it. It's a lot of fun. If you like seeing fast cars and a lot of great action, just escape for a while. Don't think too hard about this film, and you will definitely have a blast. Okay, four and a half stubs for me for the latest installment in the Toretto family movie story, <laughs> if you will. I think it's going to be worth your time if you like any decent action film. And just, just don't think too much about how crazy the stunts are. Just enjoy how crazy the stunts are, okay? It's a comic book film with cars. And, and you know, that's, that's all you need for a good summer film. And that'll about do it for us here at Final Cut. Till next time, 